Um, I've just been thinking more and more about that lately. And I think, um, at least in me, I think what we're seeing there is, is you're getting pain from the fat pad. I, I've always had issues with, and, and, and Ben, we've had a, a, the patient like this where you do an orthopedic test and, you know, it's like no pain with, or there's pain with active, but there's also pain with passive movement. This was in, in our wrist. Mm -hmm. um, and same like the knee, like you go into full passive flexion and you have pain. And so you're like, okay, it's intraarticular, but then you do meniscus tests, like it's not meniscus. And then the patient's like third and you're like, well, I guess you have arthritis because like what else could be going on intraarticular and that would kind of happen with us mm. on that wrist. And um, I've just been thinking more and more about that lately. And I think um, at least in me, I think what we're seeing there is, is you're getting pain from the fat pad. And so because those pa those 30 year old patients, you're not having. What's the intervention of a fat pad? Um, so there's, there's two conflicting uh, pieces of information. The, the one piece says that it's uh, basically branches off of tibial nerve, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because if patients are feeling anterior knee pain, the tibial nerve doesn't supply the anterior aspect. That comes from saphenous, which is a branch off of femoral. Um, the other group of researchers uh, says it's a mix of uh, uh, branches off of saphenous, tibial, and uh, common uh, peroneal. And so you're kind of getting all of them converge, which makes sense because the joint capsule is kind of innervated by all of those at the same time. And so, um, so that would make more sense for why you could feel anterior knee pain. So, so start paying attention to that with, with patients um, where uh, if you're doing ortho testing and it, anterior knee pain comes up, start to think more about fat pads. When you inject a fat pad, <clears throat> You only inject one location because the solution spreads throughout the fat pad? Yeah. Okay.